hike and take friends. Today we are talking about one of the world's best known moth caterpillars, the woolly bear or woolly worm. And here's what it looks like. Notice the black bands on either end and the reddish brown band in the middle. Fall is a great time to find woolly bear caterpillars because they are crawling along to find a safe and cozy place to hibernate over the winter. So where do you think that safe and cozy place might be? Under bark or leaf litter, like the one I discovered in my yard. They also hibernate in rock or log crevices. In spring, once the weather warms up, the caterpillar will wake up and eat a bit more. Good thing dandelions are plentiful in springtime, along with clover and plantain leaves. Look at this little one munching on a dandelion leaf right now. Once the woolly bear caterpillar has a full tummy of nutritious plant leaves, it spins a cocoon where it will transform after a couple weeks into its adult form, the Isabella tiger moth. The moth searches for a mate and the female will lay her eggs, starting the life cycle all over again. See eggs, woolly bear caterpillar, Cocoon, and the adult Isabella tiger moth. You can find woolly bears along woodland edges, meadows, sidewalks, and trails, and also by the plants it eats. In fall, look around asters, which bloom late summer through fall. It is easy to catch one because they only move 0.5 miles per hour, or four feet per minute. Be careful though, their bristly hairs might irritate your skin. It's important to be gentle when picking up and holding caterpillars. Often in times of danger, the woolly bear caterpillar will curl up in a ball, protecting its soft underbelly, or it may crawl away faster. These caterpillars are hardy little caterpillars. They can be active when the temperatures are only in the 40 degrees. One myth about the woolly bear is that the width of the reddish brown band predicts how long the harsh winter season will be. However, research has shown that the woolly bear's coloring is based on how long it has been eating, its age, and the species. The better the growing season, the bigger a caterpillar grows, and the narrower the reddish brown band is. Therefore, if you see a woolly bear with wide black bands, know that it has nothing to do with the winter season, but instead it shows this caterpillar had a really good growth season. Looking at this little woolly bear, did it have a good growth season? Learn more about woolly bear caterpillars by going to www.lcfpd.org. Look for printable activities under the digital resources category. And if it's sunny outside like it is today, go for a walk and see if you can find yourself a little woolly bear caterpillar friend. Happy exploring, hike and hikes.